what up Rafa Leaders, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to bring you up to date on the newest project that I've embarked on that is to build eco-friendly, environmentally friendly homes here in Georgetown, Guyana. It's called Lisa Eco Smart Homes. I've introduced this a week ago in a video that I made on residential homes that are being constructed in Georgetown and today I just want to tell you how I am contributing to solving this problem of a housing shortage, a global home shortage in the world by creating, constructing eco-smart, eco-friendly housing here in Guyana. And I'm going to show you how you can participate, how you can either invest or purchase one of these homes or rent if you're in this neck of the woods and you want a place to rent. All right? The website is Lisa Eco Smart Homes. The website is ecosmarthomes.lrdg.online. That's the name of the company is Lisa Eco Smart Homes. The website is ecosmarthomes.lrdg.online and I'm going to leave for you the details on every stage of the process in the website. So you can go there, you can log in, right? become a member so that you can communicate with me through the website. You can either leave a message. I have a chat feature in there just like Facebook or um, Twitter where you can message me or you can also leave uh, posts on the on the wall for everyone to read and you can chat with each other right so so guys yeah you might have noticed I'm changing up the style for the end of the season you know cut up and shave up so come at you with a much more uh, clean cut uh, businessman look right you're gonna see that in the future so let me explain to you what Lisa Eco Smart Homes is all about so the point about building Eco Smart Homes is because the world is facing a crisis of global warming, global climate change. And so we need to implement eco-friendly principles in every aspect of our lives going forward. And because of that, I've decided that any new home that I live in or any home that I live in must uh, meet certain requirements. That is the requirements for low carbon living, right? So. These houses are building, being built, being constructed, especially for those who are passionate about low carbon living, that is living with the least amount of impact on the world in terms of global warming, contributing to global warming and global climate change, right? So for that reason, all of these houses that we're constructing are going to use clean energy, that is solar power and wind. We're gonna collect our water from the rain that is purified rainwater it will flow out of the taps and we're going to control the internal environment by setting up central air conditioning systems so that we can monitor the air for things like carbon monoxide carbon dioxide and oxygen levels and other uh, poisonous gases right so all of the internal environment will be closely monitored using sensors so that it is as clean and as healthy as possible. In addition to this, where there are covenants, right, you're going to have to, if you want to live in one of these communities that I'm setting up, you're going to have to commit to living in the environmentally friendly lifestyle. That means that you know, you're not going to use poisonous chemicals in the environment, either in your homes as cleaning agents for cleaning the bathroom or the kitchen, right? You're going to uh, commit to the lowest possible impact of pollution. That means that in your uh, use of plastics, for example, you will minimize the use of plastics that cannot be recycled so that they don't end up contaminating the environment with permanently um, non-biodegradable material. So that's the idea behind eco-friendly or environmentally friendly living. Now, smart homes is another topic that I'm passionate about. And if you're interested and in, you're um, curious about what a smart home is, it's a smart, a smart home is one that is digitally uh, equipped to utilize the most, the most modern technology to help you manage the internal environment and maintain safety and security. So for example, using facial recognition for um, people who are going to enter the building, using cameras, with uh, monitors within each apartment, each unit, so that everyone can see the environment outside of their um, 
unit that is you can see who's entering the building and leaving the building from all of the exits you can see the perimeter of the building and you can see the traffic around the building from your monitor in your room in addition to that there are going to be sensors uh, throughout the building that will monitor for things like um, toxins you know mo uh, carbon monoxide for example with alarms uh, telling you what to do in the case of an emergency we're going to also going to have medical facilities on site that means that anyone who needs um, immediate medical attention let's say you've had a heart attack there's going to be defibrillators in the building there's going to be there's going to be emergency um, medical uh, pharmaceuticals and um, medical equipment oxygen tanks for example for people who might need um, oxygen support breathing support right the whole idea is that the building must help you live a healthy and a um, environmentally friendly lifestyle this is what a smart building does right so the, the concept is that the building is like your lungs right the building supplies the occupants with clean oxygen air to breathe and so the building sh itself should contribute at all times to providing an environment that supports life right so a smart home an eco-friendly uh, eco smart home is one that protects you by supplying you with clean air and clean water but also perfect protects and defends the environment by ensuring that the pollution that comes from daily living is minimal and does not enter the environment so for example for sewage if you go to the website i'll show you how we intend to handle sewage in this new housing development area where there are no sewage lines in the ground and no sewage treatment plants we're actually going to collect all of the sewage and remove it from the site on a regular basis in other words there are going to be storage tanks properly um secured and ventilated but that will be collecting all of the sewage so it doesn't end up in the groundwater it doesn't end up doesn't raw sewage does not get into the environment we're going to ship it off of the site to a sewage treatment system plant that we will personally develop and same way for water we're not going to use groundwater we're going to collect rainwater we're going to purify it we're going to test it and treat it make sure that it is 100 percent pure much purer than what you can buy from the supermarket in bottles right this is like bottled water coming out of your taps so that's the idea behind an environmentally friendly and an eco smart home now how this is going to work we're going to build in the first um, phase a multi-story condominium building in this case we've decided on the site here in uh, Demerara right is going to be at paradise on the east coast of Demerara we're going to build something like uh, 7 to 10 stories about 20 units in the building but we're going to reserve some of those units to provide services for the community so for example there's going to be a gymnasium there's going to be a swimming pool indoor pool there's going to be a recreational room there's going to be a business center there's going to be rooms for things like yoga and um, exercise there's going to be a dining hall a dining room that is um, common for everyone there is also going to be um, convenience store facilities on site so that you don't have to go all the way to grocery to get something that you forgot to buy right so there's going to be a store within the building so the reason why this is going to be a multi-story building is so that you could provide all of these services within the building in addition to um, apartments where you can uh, live right there's also going to be parking there's going to be storage external storage units additional storage units and so on so if you go to the website ecosmarthomes.lrdg.online you'll see the details of this uh, housing development plan and I'm going to share on that website on a regular basis each stage in development of the um, the building now the first building I'm going to call Onoled Gardens O-N-A-L-E-D Gardens it's going to be located at Paradise 
We're still working on the building plans and the designs and the floor plans, but as soon as we've gotten, we finalized the floor plans and building plans, we're gonna publish them on the website. For those of you who want to be um, investors, you're gonna be able to see the financials, you're gonna see all our financial statements, and if you invest in the company, you're gonna be able to see how your money is working and how your returns, uh, uh, you know, the kind of returns, kind of dividends that it's gonna going to pay for you and believe me this is going to be one of the most successful of um, the businesses that I'm setting up a billion dollar business because of the demand for housing and because Guyana is in this massive growth and expansion phase because of the oil and gas industry because of the inflow of um, of residents from all over South America and the Caribbean coming to live in Guyana. There's gonna be this huge demand for housing and we're getting ahead of that curve by building, uh, rapidly building large condominiums to house people, but to do, we're doing so in an eco-friendly and smart homes environment, creating smart homes community. Now, this is what we're doing. I'm gonna give you the details of it, further details later on about the price. We're thinking right now the price for the apartments, if you invest in one, if you want to buy one before construction begins, it's going to be somewhere around 150K, uh, 150,000 US dollars. It's about 50 million Guyana dollars. But for the quality and for the amenities that you're going to get, that in fact is a bargain. I don't think you can buy a condominium in any, any of the major cities in the world for that kind of price, let alone in a massive, uh, rapidly growing economy like Guyana, right? But we're going to start there. I believe that once the um, construction has been completed and those houses, those uh, units, those condominiums are on the market, the price will go up rapidly. I think it could probably fetch 250K, 250,000 US dollars, right? Or $300,000 off the bat once the construction has uh, been completed because these are high quality homes that will um, compete with anything anywhere in the world, whether you think it's Dubai or Toronto or New York or Singapore or, or London, this is going to be second to none in terms of quality of construction, in terms of safety, and in terms of the amenities, the services we're providing for you within the building. So that's what's happening, guys, with Lisa Eco Smart Homes, ecosmarthomes.lrdg.online. Go check out the website, um, sign up, Become a member so that you can see all the details as they develop and as they come online. If you want to support this channel, you can do that by sharing these videos with friends and family around the world. Right? This is a channel that is focused on uh, politics, economics, food and fun here in Georgian Guyana. So I make videos from time to time on politics, economics, food and fun. I'm scheduled to make another video bringing you up to date on the state of the economy in Guyana after oil and gas has now become a major part of um, the economy, right? We're just a year and a half into production of oil and already have about almost 800 uh, million US dollars in profit in our sovereign wealth fund from the oil and gas industry. I also want to talk to you, uh, bring you up to date on the value of the Ghana dollar you know I made an, a comment a couple of years ago that the value of the Ghana dollar will increase after the production of oil after Ghana um, starts producing oil I want to bring you up to date on that topic right and then I want to tell you about this uh, business in other words the number of businesses that I'm working on I explained in the previous video how to build billion dollar businesses and at that time I was going to build 10 billion dollar businesses how to build billionaire businesses how to become a billionaire from Guyana and I explained 10 of those businesses I already set up the website showing you how those businesses are going to be uh, run if you, if you go to lrdg.online you're going to see all those businesses in fact the numbers increase to 21 of them you know, the first one is, in fact, my university. That is the Georgian Biomedical University. You can go there, take a look at it. You can take a look at the website. I have a car company there. I have an uh, energy company, a pharmaceutical company, a research, a uh, pharmaceutical research company, bioinformatics company. So, guys, that's what's happening. I'm going to bring you future videos, not only on this particular business, but on all the other um, companies that I'm working on and I am working on them in parallel and in tandem 
and they are actually at the point where they're beginning to generate revenue. So this is the time when the most excitement um, starts to happen. I'm gonna start hiring um, employees to manage and to run these companies and you're gonna hear all about it here on this channel, right? So look forward in the future for a video on the state of the oil and gas industry, the sovereign wealth fund, and the value of the Guyana dollar. If you wanna see more content like, like, this, like this, click like and subscribe. Share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening here in Georgetown, Guyana. Later.